Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with the next video. Now, I know that it's been a while since I uploaded. It's been about 6 or 7 months, probably more, since I uploaded. But I was just thinking about what can I do to make the channel better. I think I've been doing a lot of videos on how to do drawings. And there are already a lot of those videos on YouTube and I will continue to do those videos. But I also want to look at you know what things are for example not just how to draw a floor plan but you know what is a floor plan and stuff like that so i've just been deep in research and uh, trying to put things together for my next video and things just kind of spiraled out of control spiral the archimedean spiral today we're going to look at an archimedean spiral not how to draw it if you want to know how to draw an archimedean spiral I have a video on that, I'll put the link below. But we're going to look at what an Archimedean spiral is and who Archimedes was. So let's go. Okay, so let's look at who Archimedes was. Archimedes was a Greek physicist, mathematician, engineer, inventor, and astronomer. He was born in 287 BC in the Greek city state of Syracuse on the island of Sicily. Archimedes is said to be a relative of Hero II, who at the time was the king of Syracuse, and because of this, it is believed that Archimedes lived a royal life. His outstanding contributions in the field of science brought about significant changes to the scientific world. Archimedes spent most of his life in Syracuse, except for the time he went to Alexandria in Egypt to receive his education. He would become so focused on his work that he would sometimes forget to eat or even take a shower. You're not eating. You barely sleep. Now if you are interested in learning more about Archimedes, you can check out this video by Biographics, which goes more in depth into the life of Archimedes. So now we're going to look at what the Archimedean Spiral is. Now the Archimedean Spiral was created by Archimedes in the 3rd century BC. As the story goes, he was fooling around with his compass. He pulled the legs of the compass out at a steady rate while he rotated the compass clockwise. What he discovered was a spiral that moved out at the same magnitude to which he turned the compass and kept a constant distance between each revolution of the spiral. Now, while the Archimedean spiral was created by Archimedes, Pappus of Alexandria who was a Greek geometer, states that the Archimedean spiral was discovered by Conan of Samos, who is another Greek mathematician, who was also a friend of Archimedes, and Apollonius of Perga, who wrote a series of books on conic sections, reported that Conan also worked on the book Conic Sections, which includes sections such as hyperbolas, parabolas, and ellipses. It's amazing to think that all these principles of curves and conic sections, which are still useful today, were first developed over 200 years before Christ. Now, the question might be, why do I even need to know about this? Which leads us to the next chapter. What are the uses of the Archimedean spiral? Let's first look at the ancient uses. So the Archimedean spiral was used as a better way of determining the area of a circle. Before this, the circumference of a circle was measured using an ancient Greek method, which included using limited tools. However, Archimedes, being the relentless thinker that he was, he soon went on to determine a more accurate value of pi that created an easier way of measuring the area of a circle. So they no longer needed the Archimedean spiral to measure the area of a circle. Now, as for modern uses, the Archimedean spiral has a number of real-world applications today. Scroll compressors, which are used for compressing gases, of rotors that can be made from two interleaved Archimedean spirals. Now, these spirals are the same size that almost resemble Archimedean spirals. Asking a patient to draw an Archimedean spiral is a way of quantifying human tremor. This information helps in diagnosing neurological diseases. 
So doctors would literally ask their patients to draw an Archimedean spiral to see how well their brain was functioning or is functioning. Archimedean spirals are also used in food microbiology to quantify bacterial concentration through a spiral plotter. Now there are other modern uses of the Archimedean spiral, so if you are ever asked to draw an Archimedean spiral by your teacher, it's not without cause, as the spiral has many real world applications. I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe for more content and have yourselves a fantastic day.